Okay, I'm uh, back again on the second bit of outpost, this time uh, for TNC setup. So, same deal. If you uh, run it, get the standard screen that comes up for your username and uh, call sign. The only difference we're going to do in here is for uh, interface. If you click on that, again, I've already got my TNC set up, which I've uh, named PK232 MBX. But we'll go through the uh, process of setting up a, uh, a new one. So we click on new, input your name, tiny2 seems to be the common one that people have. Click on TNC here, and the only other one you really need to worry about is COM port. This has to match uh, your TNC obviously. I think, uh, I forget what mine is on. But you go through your windows and find out what COM port it is. Select the port, maximum speed, data bit, parity, stop bits, and the flow control. And that uh, is it. We'll go back to uh, interface and I'll show you my settings for the PK232. Let's have a go into that one I'm um, comport 7 and running pretty silly settings here at the moment or is it from initial setup 1200 board 7 data bits even parity 1 stop bit and uh, hardware control handshaking all the rest are the same now they're settings I was trying I'm not using them. So that's that. So yeah, if we uh, we press the send and receive now, rather than going through sound modem, it goes directly through the TNC, and we're connecting to GRC minus one as per normal. Yeah, it looks like there's a. Uh, message from Don I'll have to change that to actually receive that that uh, list mode but that's it for uh, TNC setup I'll do another one shortly for uh, going by the digi repeater thanks for that